Sugar, are you ready? Stand by. Impact. Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Matt here. Today we're in Calizone, Italy, shooting the first ever World Championships for Precision Rimfire 22 LR. We're at the Tiro e Valo Piancordato range. This championship is taking place from August 28th to September 3rd. There's 19 countries participating and I believe 180 shooters or thereabouts. This event is seven days long. We just finished three days of train up and ceremonies and today is the first of four days of competition for the shooters. All right, so this is the registration area and I just wanted to highlight this board. You can see all the 19 countries that are participating. You can see how big the range facility is, which is pretty cool. These are, okay, so these are the, the actual squads for shooting. I am in squad 16. The only name I recognize right now is Justin Carbone from the States. Great shooter. And again, we're shooting Friday. I really wanted to highlight these pools, which are basically bonus stages for fun. If you take a close look at the awards, they have some pretty sweet awards. So we got some prosciutto, some pork shoulder cured meat, and Italian salami. So this match is uh, on sort of a very steep hill. It might not come across on camera, but it's like really steep. Even to walk up it, it's pretty tiring if you have to do it a couple times. But it's nice because the, uh, the organizers provided shuttle service. So if you ever have to get up or down the firing line, you can hop in one of these uh, sprinter vans and save your legs a little bit. So I'll definitely be doing that tomorrow uh, with the rifle and all the gear. And today uh, we're gonna take this one up to the top. Non shuttle adesso. Oh, ok. Perché change okay. gli atleti. Ok. E un attimo, questo disponibile. No, mi sa che gomma, yeah. Forse sì. Ok. From Canada? Yes. Yeah. Which uh, city which are you? Uh, we're from Ottawa. Ah, oh, ok. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we just took the shuttle up all the way to the top of the main firing line here. You can see this gate sort of divides the firing line area and the main road. Uh, pretty cool, they have all these flags. And then further down, they have all the flags of the 19 countries that are participating, flying up on the uh, flagpoles. Today is day one of the four days of competition, but each competitor, each shooter is only shooting two of the four days. So today on day one, they've basically divided the squads to be the ladies, the juniors, and the factory division shooters. On day two, most of the open shooters will be shooting. And then on day three, it's back to the factory ladies and juniors. And then day four, it's the final day and the second day for the open shooters. So that's how they've structured it. Uh, it kind of makes sense because everyone in the same division is more or less shooting in the same conditions on the same day. I believe there's about maybe 10, 10 to 12 stages down this main slope. There's a few on the water uh, right below it, which is pretty cool. You'll see it later in the video, but there's sort of like a boat and a little floating platform that we're shooting off of. And then the remaining stages are down at the bottom in the pistol base. Each stage has three volunteers, two, I believe two ROs and one spotter, uh, which is great. Uh, that way as a squad, you just have to focus on shooting. The spotters are on glass. There's an RO taking score, and then there's an RO that's dedicated to safety. Uh, it seems like they're gonna be very strict on safety, which is great, uh, but even 
I don't want to say PRS is less strict or less safe, but they just have different sort of mechanics that you're allowed or not allowed to do. So we have to be very cognizant of that and just make sure that you're shooting within all the rules and that you're getting uh, executing all the stages within the rules so that you don't get DQ'd or uh, have any confusion. It looks like obviously Italy and France were the main people who sort of organized this. So a lot of the ROs are either Italian or France. Um, but that means if you have any sort of like dispute or conversation, it can be a little bit difficult because not everyone speaks the same language but it's actually pretty awesome because it kind of adds to the sort of global feel of this event so as you can tell the format of this video is going to be much different than my usual match coverage there's a few restraints we're working with first off i didn't bring the trigger cam i didn't want to run it for this match um, and we're going to be getting most of the match footage on days I'm not shooting. Obviously, I want to be concentrated on the match on my shooting days when I'm competing. So we're going to be filming mostly day one and three, which means factory, division, lady shooters, and youth. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, check out the main firing line, and then we'll slowly make our way down. Impact. Clear. I saw that one bullet go over top of it. Yeah. Yeah, did you pull yeah. it a bit? I rushed the last one. Thank you. Okay. Spot there? Yes. Okay. Stand by.
Stop. Ready. Shooter ready? Stand by. Impact. 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 No, no, no. It's out of time. You ready? Yes, I'm ready. Stand back. Impact. 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 Impact.
All right, so today is day two of the competition. So open shooters as well as youth shooters shoot today. I was mistaken. Yesterday when I was up there doing the little camera spiel, uh, I said youth, ladies, and factory was shooting yesterday. That was wrong. <laughs> yesterday was ladies, seniors, and factory. Today is youth and open. So anyway, my first day of competition is today. Uh, the second and final day for myself will be Sunday. I start on stage G. G for Go Big Tactical. And uh, it seems like a pretty straightforward stage. It's only eight rounds, so hopefully I'm not rushing too much. I can sort of uh, ease into the match and calm my nerves a little bit. I don't, I'm, I don't think I'm like super first stage jitters, hopefully, because you can see I'm not shaking too bad. <laughs> but we'll see how it goes. Stand by. All right, so we're mostly through day one. I just finished my second last stage and uh, had a bit of a train wreck. Overall today, I uh, could have been shooting a little bit better, but it was it was okay up until this last stage. This is also a, a interesting point is the way you get back in order if you get mixed up in your targets or positions is actually different here than in PRS rules. So PRS rules, anything you shoot wrong or out of order is just a miss and then you have to figure out where in the order you should go next in order to gain that hit. Here, if you miss a position or start in the wrong position, instead of continuing on based on your round count in the stage, you actually have to go back to the starting point of which the error happened. Does that make sense? So it's kind of confusing. I am in PRS mode. It's just natural to me. So I started in the wrong position, which was just like such a brain fart. I was rushing. Uh, the shooting order today is a bit confusing, so I, I wasn't supposed to be first, but I'm first again, which isn't a big deal to me, so I went up first, but I had a lot going on, <laughs> so I dropped into the wrong position, and then I realized, so then I went back to fix it, but in the PRS way, instead of the Italian way, and then I uh, didn't do too hot. Impact! 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 Impact!
Say they set the zero.
Il pack! Il pack! Va bene! Il pack! Il pack! Impact! 7, 8, 7, 4! Nice! 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 Are you ready? Stand by! All right, here we are at the fourth and last day of competition. This is the second day of shooting for myself. Uh, yesterday, ladies, factory, and senior division wrapped up. Uh, so all the scores are posted on practice score. We took a look at that last night. And Team Gananda got, uh, came in fifth, I believe, for factory. And we didn't have enough shooters in the other divisions to have a team score. It's kind of early. Probably hear it in my voice. I'm not 100% awake yet. But we'll get there. And today's gonna be hot. It's it's forecasted to be about 33 to 34 um, at around noon. So it's gonna be quite hot and we're dealing with um, higher winds. I think today's gonna be the highest in terms of uh, wind forecast out of the four days of shooting. So it's gonna be a little bit spicy, especially with this course of fire. But I'm looking forward to getting it started. Are you ready? Stand by. Keep up! Keep up! Keep up! Keep up! Keep up! Keep up! Should they ready? Stand by! Keep up! Keep back. Keep back. Keep back. Keep back. Keep back. Keep back. All right, just finished my first five stages of the day. We have four left after lunch. Uh, these matches are a little bit different because each day there's a lunch break. So whenever you finish your first five stages, you go eat food and then you come back for your sixth stage at two o'clock. So I think we have like an hour and a half. We are going through the stages pretty quick. Honestly, I don't like the lunch breaks. I'd rather just shoot 
all the stages and finish a bit early, but this is uh, the Italian way. And uh, you know, it's getting bad, it's really hot. I think it's like 32, 33. So not as hot as Rome, but to shoot and match in it, it's very hot. <laughs> so we're gonna get some food, cool down a bit, but I have to make sure that I don't lose my focus because when you come back to the stage, it almost feels like a new match because you haven't shot a stage in a couple hours. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, this morning went much better than day one. So um, I'm gonna, again, stay focused and hopefully I can finish strong. Let's go. Five. We just finished a really fun stage. I've, I'm, I've been finding a trend where 90 seconds paired with 12 shot stages uh, makes for a very dynamic and fun match. So uh, I know everyone doesn't agree with me, <laughs> but I, I managed to get 12 shots off, so that was pretty fun. I didn't clean it though. I got eight, eight of 12. I think I already, I already mentioned this before, but it's like very hot. Every time we're waiting, we're trying to be in the shade unless I'm spotting or shooting just to keep the uh, the energy levels high. But up on the mountain, there's not much shade at all. So we're gonna have to try and really stay hydrated and uh, see how the last three stages of the match goes. But... Uta! 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 Position. First one, top of the A. Second one, bottom of the A on the black surface. Third one, top of the T. Ready? Ready. Come by. Anyway. Yeah. 